Hi there, it is Mar Haddad here again. So in this lecture, we have to continue what we have done in the previous lecture. So just as a summary, in the previous lecture, we have just uh, installed uh, the Ubiquiti controller. We have installed it on the Windows PC. And uh, then what we need now to do is to adopt this uh, Unify access point to that controller. So as you can see here, the uh, lab is just two points and which is only to adopt the access point to the Ubiquiti uh, controller. Point number one, log in into the controller, go to devices and adopt the unified access point. So let's go again to the controller. So uh, I'll just click on uh, launch over here and uh, it should open for me now the controller. It will ask for the username and password. So I will just try them. And then I will say sign in. And then now the controller will be open. So at this moment, there is no uh, access point which is uh, adopted to this controller. So to adopt the access point, all I need to do is to go to devices here. And now we see that this de device, which is the Unify access point uh, AC light that I have here, which is connected to the switch, it is having pending adoption. So you, you just need to click on it. And over here, this will open and then you have adopt. So just click on adopt. And once you do that, you will see that uh, it will show you now it's provisioning and it will take some time before this, uh, the uh, access point will be showing fully connected to your controller. So now it's adopting. So we have to wait a little bit and uh, we will see that after adopting will be provisioning and after provisioning, it will be connected. So now it shows provisioning and after this level, it will be connected. Okay. So uh, once which is connected, if we go to here, to the dashboard, we should see it uh, showing up over here. So uh, let me just, it will, yeah. Now, actually it is now already showing up over here because it's provisioning, but in a moment we should see it connected. And uh, let's uh, have a look on the devices. It's still provisioning and uh, it will take some time. So that's something you have to be careful in case you have a lot of uh, access points in uh, your uh, network. And uh, in case you make any changes on the site level, that's something we'll speak about it in another course. But uh, once you do any changes on the, the uh, controller on the site level, that means uh, if you have uh, many access points inside one site, let's say this site is just like uh, the company name, and you change something in the site, then all the access points will be uh, having provisioning again. And uh, that means it will not be providing internet anymore to the users and it will take time. So you can see that now it is showing connected, but it has already taken around one minute or something like this. Okay. Now, if you go here to the dashboard, we see that uh, it is an access point showing up over here. And uh, we, here we see that saying everything is great. Of course, because the access point now is uh, connected uh, and uh, it is adopted to the controller, but we didn't yet configure it. So, okay, so we just have adopted now. And later in the upcoming section, I have to show you how you can configure it. Point number one is done. And point number two, does it show connected? Yes. So point number two is also done. And uh, yeah, that's it what we need to do in uh, this lecture. It's a short one, but it's very important because you always require to adopt all your access points to the controller in order to be configured. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming section, which is to configure the access point from the controller.